Pagua was my uh, greatest idol growing up. Could have could hit shooters in the way a few goalies are able to do. The way he played, it was really, uh, you know, uh, it was great to watch him. If he needed to make a desperate save, he'd make it. To see the Canadians win the Stanley Cup, and to see Patrick Watt at a young age be able to, to, to do what he did during the playoffs that year, and it's like, just makes you believe that you're able to do it when it hits you so close from home. Game number three in New York, uh, Madison Square Garden. McClellan to Sandstrom with Allison, a glove save! Somehow, I mean, it was like, it was impossible to score. I mean, I could do everything wrong, and I don't think it would go in anyway. Look out, it'll come down. Wah has trouble! Oh, Osborne stopped. Goaltending sometimes, it's not just about uh, winning games, but sometimes it's allowing your team to buy time to score that big goal, and, and I realized that. Leo gets up, back comes Osborne, breakaway, hitting the crossbar, and they score! I don't know if it put me on the map, but personally, it's the game that brought a lot of confidence. I believe that it could make a difference in the game. And the 1986 Stanley Cup champions, the Montreal Canadiens. Like any kid, you know, uh, my dream was to, to play in the NHL and seeing my favorite team, you know, always in the Cup, uh, downtown Montreal after, uh, you know, a, a, a tough a, a tough go with having so many young guys, and, and I think, that's that's where I think everything started for me. The '86 Stanley Cup playoffs, the year of the upset. You think that something's gonna happen every year, and uh, all of a sudden you start to think you can play the following year and then the other one, and then whoop, you lose in the final, and then you realize it's hard to win the Stanley Cup. But 93, um, I remember watching those those playoffs and it was unbelievable. The more important the game, the bigger Patrick Law plays. Key was over time. game number three in overtime and you could turn that series around well as much and I mean winning three overtime games in a row I mean it's a killer for any team. There is no question about this Stanley Cup. The Canadians are deserving champions. The second one was to prove that I could go from a shaky year or an average year and, and turn it around and win the Stanley Cup. I think they made it very special in Montreal. They're great fans and then but there's a lot of expectation, and that's the, the fun part of it. When you meet the expectation, there's no best place than there. Patrick Waugh leaned over and spoke to the president of the Canadian's organization. It's obvious that I would have lo loved to leave Montreal in a different way, but I'm happy to have my jersey retired because I think it's going to turn the page on that, that chapter. and. and now people are going to think more about the 86, the 89, the 93. I hate to lose more than anything. It's something that always follow me and even I mean, as a coach, I mean, you love to win, but you don't make as much as when you lose again. It's the way I was as a player. And I think that's what I made my career. I mean, it was very competitive. And then I think being like this, there's positive and negative, but there's been a lot more positive than negative. Every night I go in my bed, I can tell you one thing. I, I know I did whatever I had to do to, to play well and perform.